But Sonal is with us to give us the latest on gas companies. Sonal, over to you. Uh, good morning, Sonia. Let me start with Gujarat. Gas reported numbers during market hours yesterday. It was a strong beat. Some brokerage commentary coming in there as well. Let me start with Numura, which has a reduced rating with a target price of 410 rupees per share. It was a strong quarter three. It was uh, driven by higher than expected margins, much higher, 16% versus 10%. Rise in propane prices will drive higher volumes because now companies will shift back to Gujarat gas. And volumes this time around declined, which reflected lower offtake from the industrial segment, specifically the mobile region which is an issue. Jefferies has an underperformed rating with a target price of 405. They said EBITDA was ahead on higher margin even as overall volumes were in line. Recent propane economics they have turned favourable because propane prices are going higher so industries will shift back to gas. HPHT allocation and APM price cap will provide margin comfort and CNG something that we have been highlighting. So they have revised their uh, EPS estimates by 3 to 6% on the higher side. On the flip side for Motilal Oswal there has been a downgrade for Petronet, LNG and IGL. They've downgraded Petronet to neutral from a buy and downgraded IGL to a sell from neutral. For Petronet, LNG, they do not like the non-sustainability of their EPS growth and there is concern on utilization of assets and how they're investing in volatile areas as well. For IGL, they say that almost half of the incremental volumes are going to be coming in from their industrial segment in the NCR region. Uh, this will ensure that EBITDA per SCM will become very volatile for the company and that's why uh, these downgrades that have come through from Motilal Oswal. Okay, all right. Sonal, thanks a lot for that. Sonal, I think you should hear what Manglam has to say because he's going to be talking about Nika and I believe he was listening to what Chandan's advice was as, as well on Titan. Uh, Manglam, tell us about Nika for now. Sonal's listening in. Well, I'll tell you about Nika and it's not me who's saying it, it's Goldman Sachs who's saying that they were positively <laughs> surprised by the acceleration in their fashion growth. Uh, whereas the beauty and personal care actually surprised negatively. They have a neutral rating with a target of 200 on the share uh, uh, share price. In fact, Jefferies too has a 200 uh, per share sort of ta target rating. And they believe that uh, the GMV growth this time around was led by fashion and others. Uh, BPC was weak primarily on account of a high base and shift in the festive season. And uh, the gross margins were lower because of inferior mix, discounting and down trading. Edelweiss, that's the most imp interesting one out there because they've cut their target price from 251 all the way down to 195. Why is that? On two factors. One, they've lowered their FY23 EBITDA estimates by 8%. But secondly, they've increased their cost of capital assumption. So as a result of which, mm. you know, the discounting rate has increased and the target price has come down. So let's see where the stock goes. Mm. You know, actually, uh, Mangalam, thanks very much uh, for that. Uh, I want to just put out